One of the craziest things in linguistics is this phenomenon where certain sound patterns get paired with certain meanings. Like, the sl sound shows up in a lot of slippery words like slick, sled, and slug. Or the st sound shows up in sturdy words like stable, structure, and stand. These are called phonus themes. And the reason I say they're crazy is because in linguistics, we usually think about sound and meaning as separate concepts. Units of sound, like s or t, are classified as phonemes, while units of meaning, like stand, are called morphemes. But phonus themes are kind of in between the two. Since the the b sound disproportionately shows up in body words like belly, back, and butt. It's both a phoneme and sort of a morpheme. And I think this makes a huge difference in poetry, which often relies on the aesthetics of words. Like in the Jabberwocky, when Lewis Carroll writes that the slithy toves did gyring gimbal in the wave, he obviously made up the word slithy, but we can kind of understand what it means because it has that slippery phonus theme in it.